Hello and welcome to another episode of Youth Online. Thank you as always for joining us. Uh, really glad you're here. Uh, the only thing to let you know about this week is we'd love you to keep uh, filling in your ideas of what you want to cover next term in our series called Hashtag Trending. Just go to the website that you see on the screen right now, sledo.com, and use the code SGSG Youth, and you'll be able to put your thoughts into the word cloud before we then in a couple of weeks have a vote. So this week we are looking at something that's a bit of an interesting word. I'm going to let our speaker Matt explain it. But first of all, we're going to worship and I've chosen this song. Unfortunately, it's me when I had a lot less hair at the beginning of lockdown. Uh, but this song deals a lot with the issue. Now, it's uh, it's the song So Will I by Hillsong. Uh, and if you don't know it, um, then read the words because the words are really brilliant so uh, let's worship together God of creation there at the start before the beginning of time no point of reference go to the dark Fleshed out the wonder of light. And as you speak, a hundred billion galaxies are born. In the vapor of your breath, the planets form. The stars made to worship so. heart in everything you've made. Every burning star a single fire of grace. The creation sings your praises so of your promise you don't speak in vain no syllable empty of for once you have spoken all nature and signs follow the sound of your voice and as you speak Catch your breath You're folding in pursuit of what you said If it all reveals your nature so alive I can see your heart in everything you say Every painted sky, your canvas of you So will I, the wind goes where you send it, so will I. 
of the world abandoned in darkness to be dark. And as you speak, a hundred billion failures disappear. But you lost your light so I could find it. nice to uh, be speaking to you all again. Again, sorry we can't see each other in person, but hopefully lockdown is treating you all okay so far. Um, tonight we're going to be looking at the idea of submission and of submitting to, to God and to others. And I wanted to start by getting you to have a think about what that word kind of brings out in you and what, what it makes you think. Because it's quite an emotive word, submission, and, you know, hearing that and, you know, the idea of submitting to others, I wonder what the initial reaction that brings out in yourself. Because I think a lot of the time, the reaction that it can bring out is is quite an emotive one that, that wants to push back against that idea. And, you know, we, we don't want to see ourselves submitting to others and being under other people's authority. Um and it can make it can have quite a strong reaction in people and they can go, I don't want to submit to people. So it's a difficult concept. And that's why it's important that we look at it. Um, and I think particularly at the age that you guys are at, you know, actually, you've been submitting in a way all of your lives as 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 young people. And as you start to become teenagers and get older, you actually start getting a bit more independence and a bit more freedom. So the idea of suddenly having to submit to things can feel, you know, I don't want to do that. This is, you know, I'm only just getting some freedom. What are you talking about? Hopefully tonight will help to explain what it means when we say that we want, you know, that we submit to God and we submit to others and help you see why it's important and also help you to know a bit about how to do it right and how to, to look after yourself. Um, so we're going to look at a few things. The first thing we're going to look at is this idea of submitting to God. And to look at that, we're going to start by having a quick Bible verse. Luke 22, verse 42. Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. So that Bible verse is Jesus speaking when he's in the Garden of Gethsemane and it's he's gone there to pray and it's just before the his time on the cross is coming. So, you know, what his whole time on earth has been building up to a stressful, difficult, challenging thing that he's doing where he's, you know, ultimately sacrificing himself for us. And that's, you know, that was a big and scary thing to do, even for Jesus. And we see here this idea that, you know, he's willing to do that for God, but he, you know, it's not what he wants to do because of what it entails and what it brings about, but he submits himself to God and does that, even though if there was another way, he'd rather it was done that way. 
And this is a great example for us of, of what it means to submit to God. You know, the, the Bible is there to give us a picture and a flavour of what God wants us what God wants our lives to look like and how he wants us to live. And some of the things in there, you'll probably read and you'll be like, absolutely, that is, you know, I want to do that. I want to try and do this for God. I want to live like that. And then there'll be other things in there that will challenge you in terms of how you want to live and challenge you in terms of how you'd want to do things. And that might be because you don't agree with it. It might be because it's not what society does. But one of part of, you know, this idea of submitting to God is actually saying, even though this is difficult, even though this isn't, you know, what what I want to do, I'm going to do it because it's how God wants me to live. So part of this idea of submitting to God is about submitting to his word or submitting to the Bible and what's taught within it. And then the other part of it is this is submitting to God is about having God in your life you know it's about making him the focus of your life you know living for him living with him in your decisions and letting him be a part of all of your life and I wonder if you want to just take a moment now and think about whether you think that you do submit to God in that way you know when you're making decisions on a day-to-day basis are you thinking about is this what God would want me to do is this how he'd want me to live Or is that not part of your thinking? And is that not a part of how you you go day to day? Or are there bits of your life where you don't think you let him in? This next section is about submitting to each other. So we've talked about submitting to God. Now we want to talk about what it means to submit to each other. And again, we're going to start by having a quick Bible verse. Luke 9, verse 23. Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. So that verse, again, is Jesus talking to his disciples again towards the end of his life about how people should follow him and what they should do to, you know, how they should be living. And he challenges us to to deny ourselves and to take up our cross daily And that's a challenge to live our lives in the same way that Jesus lived his. And that, you know, that life that he he presents to us in the gospel is a fantastic example of what it means to submit to each other, submit to other people. It's not about just doing what other people tell you to do. It's not about being a walkover or a pushover and just letting people tell you and boss you around. But actually from looking at Jesus's life, we can see that he he went and spoke to the needy and he showed love to people he tried to you know he healed the sick he was he taught about giving to the poor and providing for those in need he was there for his friends we see that when you know one of his good friends and followers lazarus dies he goes and he weeps with the disciples and with with his friends you know, he submits himself to them. He is there in people's pain. He's there in their lives, helping them and spreading a message of love, inclusion and of how important it is to be there for other people. And that's what it means to submit to one another. It's not about being a walkover and just doing what people say, but it's actually about being there for people, about not just focusing on yourself, but living life in a way that you you reach out and help other people. You're there for them when they need you. And, you know, actively choosing to live that way. You know, it's one thing to help people when they come to you. It's another to live life in a way which means that you you reach out to people and, you know, you you meet them where they are and you go and find people and help them when they need you to. Um And that's what it means to submit to one another. And I think there's a few different ways that we can do that. And it's really important to identify those areas because, again, a bit like with what bits of your life do you let God into, it it can be different as to how we behave in different circles. So, you know, have a think about how you submit to one another and how you you can live like that at school or at college, how you can live like that um in your church 
how you can serve and submit to people at church within your family with your your siblings your parents grandparents cousins nephews nieces and and in your community in general you know where we live surrey ashted epsom wherever it is that you would call your your community how can we serve and submit to people there how can we show them jesus's love and how can we model that that life that he showed of you know picking up his cross and you know he he made the ultimate sacrifice and died for people but how can we how can we model that how can we live a life where we go out and help other people that's the challenge with submitting to one another last area that i want to talk about is is this idea that actually this all needs to be mutual for it to work right one of the things i sometimes worry about when we teach on topics like this is that you know the idea of submitting to others and putting others before yourself is you know is so biblical and it's so true that that's an important part of living but sometimes when we teach these topics in isolation i think we can skew it away from remembering things that are really important and one of the things that's really important about this is yes it's important to put others before yourself you know to to serve and submit and and look after other people but that does not come at the expense of your own well-being and that's a really important thing to remember um you know and i think jesus is a great example of this you know through the gospel we see that jesus absolutely lived a life devoted and focused on on serving other people but he rested he observed the sabbath and took that as time to rest he he regularly ate uh, meals with his friends we see that he had a group of followers um, but who were very close to him and who he shared companionship with and who were there to support him as well you know he took some of them with him to the garden in gethsemane because he wanted their support we see him take time in prayer for himself to prepare him for what he has to do and we should see that as well that sometimes we need to take time for ourselves so that we can be there for other people if you run yourself into the ground you can't help anyone and i think that's a message i wanted to get across tonight as well you must you know we're taught to submit to god to submit to his word and to involve him in our lives and from from that we learn that we should submit to others and serve and help them but it's also really important to remember that that is mutual and other people should be being there for you and that sometimes you need to take time for yourself and that nothing about putting yourself, putting others before yourself is because you don't have worth, but it's because everyone, everyone matters and we should live lives that don't just focus on ourselves, but focus on other people. So that's our message tonight on submission. And I want to leave you with two challenges. Uh, the first one is this, it's how can you submit to god in your life are there areas where you don't let god in where he's not a part of it where you're doing things you know don't match up with what how god would want us to live or areas where you just don't let him be involved and how can you change that and the second challenge i want to give you is to pick one of those areas family school or college community or church and think about how you can submit to others there and, and serve and, and model that, that, that example that Jesus gave us. I'm going to close in prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for what you did for us on the cross. Thank you for your submission to God and for your submission to us. We pray that you would help us to submit to God and help us to live lives like yours, serving and helping other people. Amen. Okay, as always, it's now over to you guys. Uh, there'll be a couple of questions coming up on the screen, as well as a Bible passage for you to look at as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Before we go, uh, let's pray. God, thank you for this idea that you want us to put other people first. We struggle to do that sometimes but God you also call us to put you first
and in our own lives now as we look for the answers to some of these questions to help us to work out the little changes we need to make. So let's start from the first.